Chapter 65, Psychiatric Medications. Practice questions. A hospitalized client is taking clozapine for the treatment of a schizophrenic disorder. Which lab study prescribed for the client should the nurse specifically review to monitor for an adverse effect associated with the use of the medication? One, platelet count. Two, cholesterol level. Three, white blood cell count. Or four, blood urea nitrogen level. The answer is three. Hematological reactions can occur in the client taking clo clozapine and include a granulocytosis and mild leukopenia. The white blood cell count should be checked before initiating treatment and should be monitored closely during the use of this medication. The client should also be monitored for signs indicating a granulocytosis, which may include sore throat, malaise, and fever. Options one, two, and four are unrelated to this medication. Disulfiram, prescribed for a client and the nurse is collecting data on the client and is re reinforcing instructions regarding the use of the medication. Which is most important for the nurse to determine before administering this medication? One, a history of hyperthyroidism. Two, a history of diabetes insipidus. Three, when the last full meal was consumed. Or four, when the last alcoholic drink was consumed. The answer is four. The sulfuram is used as an adjunct treatment for selected clients with chronic alcoholism who want to remain in a state of enforced sobriety. Clients must abstain from alcohol intake for at least 12 hours before the initial dose of the medication is administered. The most important data are to determine when the last alcoholic drink was consumed. The medication is used within, with caution in clients with diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, epilepsy, cerebral damage, nephritis, and hepatic disease. It is contraindicated in severe heart disease, psychosis, or hypersensitivity to related related to the medication. The nurse is collecting data from a client and the client's spouse reports that the client is taking denepazil hydrochloride. Which disorder should the nurse suspect that this client may have based on the use of this medication? One, dementia. Two, schizophrenia. Three, seizure disorder. Or four, obsessive compulsive disorder. Denepazil. The answer is one, donepazil hydrochloride is a cholinergic agent used in the treatment of mild or moderate dementia of the Alzheimer type. It enhances cholinergic functions by increasing the, con the concentration of acetylcholine. It slows the progression of Alzheimer's disease. This medication is not used to treat the disorders in options two, three, and four. Fluoxetine is prescribed, and the nurse reinforces instructions to the client regarding the administration of the medication. Which statement by the client indicates an understanding about the administration of this medication? One, I should take this medication with my evening meal. Two, I should take the medication at noon with an antacid. Three, I should take the medication in the morning when I first arise. Or four, I should take the medication right before bedtime with a snack. The answer is three. Fluoxetine is a SSRI. It is administered in the early morning without consideration to meals. Options one, two, and four are incorrect. A client receiving a tricyclic antidepressant arrives at the mental health clinic. Which observation indicates that the client is correctly following the medication plan? One, reports not going to work for the past week. Two, complains of not being able to do anything anymore. Three, arrives at the clinic neat and appropriate in appearance. Or four, reports sleeping 12 hours per night and three to four hours during the day. The answer is three. Depressed individuals will sleep for long periods, are not able to go to work, and feel as if they cannot do anything. 
Once they have had some therapeutic effect from their medication, they will report resolution of many of these complications, as well as demonstrate an improvement in their appearance. A hospitalized client is prescribed phenylazine sulfate for the treatment of depression. The nurse reinforces instruction to the client and tells the client to avoid consuming which of the foods while taking this medication. Select all that apply. 1. Figs. 2. Yogurt. 3. Crackers. 4. Aged cheese. 5. Tossed salads. Or 6. Oatmeal cookies. The answer is one, two, and four. Phenylazine sulfate is a MAOI agent. The client should avoid consuming foods that are high in tyramine. Eating these foods could trigger a potentially fatal hypertensive crisis. Some foods to avoid include yogurt, aged cheeses, smoked or processed meats, red wines, and fruits such as av avocados, raisins, and figs. A client taking buspirone for one month returns to the clinic for a follow-up visit, which should indicate medication effectiveness. One, no rapid heartbeats or anxiety. Two, no paranoid thought processes. Three, no thought broadcasting or delusions. Or four, no reports of alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Buspirone. The answer is one. Buspirone hydrochloride is not recommended for the treatment of drug or alcohol withdrawal, paranoid thought disorders, or schizophrenia, thought broadcasting, or delusions. Buspirone hydrochloride is most often indicated for the treatment of anxiety and aggression. A client taking lithium carbonate reports vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, blurred vision, tinnitus, and tremors. The lithium level is checked as a part of the routine follow-up and the level is 3.0 milliequivalents per liter. The nurse know that this is which level? One, toxic, two, normal, three, slightly above normal, or four, excessively below normal. The answer is one. The therapeutic serum level of lithium is 0 0.8 to 1.2 milliequivalents per liter. A level of three milliequivalents per liter indicates toxicity. A client arrives at the healthcare clinic and tells the nurse that they have been doubling their daily dosage of bupropion hydrochloride to help them get better faster. The nurse understands that the client is now at risk for which problem? One, insomnia, two, weight gain, three, seizure activity, or four, orthostatic hypertension. Bupropion is an atypical antidepressant and does not cause significant orthostatic blood pressure changes. Seizure activity is common in dosages greater than 450 milligrams daily. Bupropion frequently causes a drop in body weight. Insomnia is a side effect, but seizure activity causes a greater client risk. So the answer was three. The nurse is performing a follow-up teaching session with a client discharged one month ago who has taken fluoxetine. Which information should be important for the nurse to gather regarding the adverse effects related to the medication? One, cardiovascular symptoms. Two, gastrointestinal dysfunctions. Three, problems with mouth dryness. Or four, problems with excessive sweating. The answer is two. The most common adverse effect related to fluoxetine includes central nervous system and GI system dysfunction. This medication affects the GI system by causing nausea, vomiting, cramping, and diarrhea. Options one, three, and four are not adverse effects of this medication. That is it.